Um, so yes, it is so good to see you guys. Thank you for hopping on. We are gonna do Thursday night team calls at 8.30 for anybody who could hop on live. I know that this will be a transition um, as everybody kind of starts uh, you know, remembering that it's on Thursday nights at 8.30, but I would love to try and um, make this a weekly thing and you guys hop on and then we will always keep these to a certain time because I definitely want to make sure that we, um, you know, obviously it's it's later at nighttime and, and we want to um, make sure that you prioritize your time and we're not going to keep you on here. But I did want Rebecca, especially leading up towards our retreat that's coming up in just a few months, I wanted her to talk about a lot of people um, wanted to know her secrets on how it is that she um, rank advanced so fast. And she's going to share all of the secrets with us. <laughs> the secret is there is no secret. She's going to tell us what she did. And, um, and hopefully this will help you start implementing some of these strategies so that you as well can um, rank advance your business. Now, I don't want you to think, okay, well, oh, well, I'm only a coach or, oh, I'm only an emerald. You know, diamond is just so far off. I don't want you to think of it like that. I want you to think of it as you're just continuing to become emerald every time. So, you know, when you think, when you look at the big picture of diamond, you think it's, oh, that's eight coaches and two emeralds. But if you think of it as just two coaches at a time, when you're just adding a, like, basically like you're just going emerald again, then it kind of takes the pressure off. Um, and you're just taking it in bite-sized pieces, but she did it in a little less than six weeks. It's, it's so possible, but she's got some amazing tools that I want to share, um, have her share tonight. And hopefully you guys can take notes. And then we're also going to give you a graphic that you can print off, or you can kind of make your own if you just want to draw it up um, on, on each week, each Thursday. I want you to look at your downline and recreate your, your graphic that shows you where your coaches are and shows you where you need to put coaches. So you'll have your two legs and then you'll just fill in the names of your coaches, where they are. And then once you have your emeralds and it's a really great visual of what you're looking to accomplish as far as being a diamond coach on our team. So Rebecca, do you wanna go ahead and start giving us some tips? Sure, awesome. Um, okay, so let me just say this, you know, it's, it's kind of, um, it's kind of a weird thing. And I'm like, I don't know whether I should share this or not, but it is my story. I've done Beachbody twice. I've done it two times. And the first time I did it, I made diamond in 11 weeks, laid down the business because I had to lay it down. And then when I got back in, I made diamond in six weeks. And I just know that when I did it the first time, my, um, my coach at the time, of course, I mean, we all have the information. I mean, every, it's kind of like, Nobody is reinventing the wheel. I mean, you hear the information no matter where you are. Um, you, you know, there are different things as time goes, as trends go, as, you know, as social media is a little bit different now than 2015 when I joined it before um, than now, but the same principles work. And I just remember hearing, do the thing. Like just when someone says, do it, it was in my mind, this is what I do. Okay, because I when I jumped in, I wanted to do the business. And so I was very obedient when someone said, no, it may take me a minute to process it. But within time, when I catch up and I'm able to grasp it, I will do it. Um, so and I have the big word on the top of my notes, and that's passion um, in all caps and written passion, passion. And I think we all know that we can lose our passion very, very quickly, whether it's in our spiritual walk, whether it's in our emotional walk, whether as women, we are up and down, um, emotionally, when I mean, we can wake up depressed, we can wake up with all of these things, but then all of a sudden we can hear an inspirational somebody or something. And it's like, it totally changed our life. It totally changed our day. So I am a huge, huge proponent with, and like I said, whether it's in my spiritual life or in my business, I've got to have positivity in my brain. I have to have it every single day. And honestly, I love this business so much. Um, and on those days where it's like, oh my goodness, I don't have anything. All I have to do is go on YouTube or go in one of our trainings and just go onto a wake up call 
And when I hear somebody talk about, oh, they did this and their income is here or their, you know, I don't know what your motivation is. Um, but when I connect and I hear somebody talking, my passion reignites. It's kind of like when the fire dies down and you take a poker into it and you like stir it up and you put another log on, the flame comes so easily. But if you let it go out completely, you got to rekindle, you got to get the candle in and the newspaper and <laughs> And blow it back up and it, it really takes a while to get that fire back go you know going again um so i am a huge personal development person i have to keep a positive mindset um i cannot let i do not let negativity i try my hardest i try my hardest i'm not perfect at it but i will not let negativity steal from me um, and it's easy because we are a team and when you have people that either aren't getting results or there aren't getting that, you know, it can drag us down to where it honestly can mess with, do we really want to do the business? And I can't let that one or two, like one person can pull me down when I'm getting like 10 people that just showed they lost 30 pounds. I cannot let that one negative or that one, you know, really take me off course of what my goals are. Um, and I know everybody has their goals and make sure that you are clear cut about your goals. Uh, Lindsay Matway is phenomenal with your why and your vision board and things like that. So just make sure that you have your passion and guard it, guard it, whatever that looks like for you. I mean, whatever that your business goals are, guard your passion and make sure that it, you keep those logs on the fire. Um, Here's the thing with, um, I think it's really awesome that we are merging. I came into the kitchen. I was like, Olivia, my daughter, do I look like a teenager? <laughs> because I'm 47 years old. What I think is so awesome is that we have girls now that we are merging our team calls and, you know, there's 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s, even on this call right now. <laughs> and Brittany made a comment um, when we, we did our own little retreat during summit and Brittany uh, Leggett did a call and she said something because one of my mature leaders um, said, well, I'm not a cute little blonde. You know, she's looking at Brittany and I'm not this and this, you know, I'm not young enough. I'm not this and this. And Brittany said, well, this is the thing. And she was giving the pluses and minuses of the age groups. And I'm like, Ooh, I want to cast my fishing pole in a bunch of different things. And what she said, she said, in your age group, you know, the older age group, usually money's not an issue. So I want to speak to the younger ones. Make sure that you're not only marketing to your younger crowd because your moms and your aunts and your mom's best friends and your, you know, whoever, they typically don't have a problem with spending. They, you know, they, they typically have the money. I had never thought about that until Brittany said that. But then on the flip side, when you get to our age, we get tired. <laughs> we, got, we got some hormones. We got some like, we're worn out and keeping that motivation and metabolism is different. And we just got so many other things. And a lot of us at this, we're working full time and it's hard to keep that passion alive or whatever. So I will say this, just make sure that when you're posting, which is my next point that we have to post, 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 make sure you are speaking to all age groups in your posts. And when I say that, make sure, cause I had a, a girl on Instagram send me a message cause I'm giving all of my you know, challengers and most of them are my age or whatever. And she said, well, do you have anybody? She said, because I'm really skinny, I'm really thin. And she said, but I'm really unhealthy. So my body, like my tummy's poochy and I wanna tone up and whatever. And I was like, oh, I gotta go back into Dynasty United to find you know, some of those 20 year olds that somewhere different than me. But the thing is, is that, wow, I just had a 20 something reach out to me. Like that's, that's a bit, like, that's a big thing to me is that, okay, my market really can be from twenties to sixties. So just know, I think that helps because it just gives you more people. Um, another thing, remember military, if you have any military friends, or if you can get that message out there, because when you are building to diamond, you want coaches. And now this is my philosophy. I want coaches and, and yes, they are main, you know, in the beginning, they are mainly discount coaches. I want my people committed and I want them, um, I want them signed up as a coach so that they will, you know, commit, um, and military, 
automatic. They they get to coach for free. They don't have to pay that the um, sign up fee. They don't have to pay the monthly fee. So just don't forget about your military. Um, and then any challengers that you already have with you, constantly be posting in you know at least once a week or every other week, you know. Um, about coaching, um, letting them know that there's a discount, show lots of recipes about Shakeology, let them see that you are drinking Shakeology all the time, let them see different recipes of it, because I'm telling you, when we get our cravings, we want a chocolate sundae, we want a, you know, some kind of muffin, some kind of cookie, something that looks appetizing, and when they are seeing the possibilities of Shakeology, they're just like, oh, I want that, oh, I want to make that, and then just post a lot, educate your people about Shakeology, and that's going to make them want it, they're going to be committed to it, and then they're obviously going to want to sign up for the discount. Um, and I will say to uh, be a bright spot on your social media um, there. When I did this back in 2015, there wasn't a lot of people diddy bopping around with MLMs. Now in 2020, everybody's diddy bopping with their like in 2015. I just didn't see a whole lot of um, losing weight kind of things now. It's everywhere. There's pills and prepackaged and you know, it's, it's everywhere. And it's kind of like the squeaky wheel gets the oil or, you know, make sure that you are talking constantly about this is the healthy way. This is the, because what we have works, what we have works just, um, there are going to be some people that just want results and they don't care how they get rid. They just want to be skinny. And the one that they are seeing and watching and watching and watching, that's the one that they're going to go to. Um, so just make sure that you are consistent and showing up. I mean, we hear that all the time, but I'm like, I make it bright, make it fun, make it colorful, make it um, something new, you know, so that it's not just, okay, here I am with my dumbbell or here I am with, you know, whatever. Cause it's like, yay for you, you're working out, but we're not giving them any tips. We're not giving them any hope. So make sure that your posts are giving um, lots of hope. I saw Abby, even though you say it says Avery there, I know you're Abby because we've been st I've been stalking you. My team knows. I told you that last week. We've been stalking you. I was like, this is my girl that I'm in competition with because I I watch other coaches and I'm like, I glean from that. Like that's a great idea. That's a great idea. And then I tweak it and make it my own. You know, um, because I just want to inspire and get new ideas and fresh you know content and things like that. Um, and then. Um, committed challengers. I talk that help them believe in themselves. Okay. So something that I do too, is when someone is talking to me, I make sure, first of all, I make sure that I have some kind of information group. That's what I choose. Um, sneak peek, whatever, how you call it an information group. I like to have a Facebook group that has information like five posts or whatever that's in there. And sometimes I have it like I put the five posts in and then advertise it, or I start it and just do a welcome post, add people in, and then I, you know, put um, posts in like, you know, we may have like an event for five days or something. I'm not sure which one really, really works because most of my people, they see me on my social media. That's what, and the information group is just information, right? So um, by the time that they've contacted me and they're looking in that information group, they really are interested. They're not going to hop in there just for, you know, there might be some curiosity, but they've seen something that's caught their eye. Like, what is it that you're doing? Um, and then I send them a message and I make it all about them. I want to know, like, what, like, are, are they already working out? Do they have any obstacles, any kind of physical ailments that could prevent them, you know, from getting results or um, any disabilities, any kind of thing? I want to know all about them. I do not give any information. Even when they ask me about information, I do not answer their questions. I don't. I need to know where they're coming from first. And when I make it all about them and then they send, then I can say, oh, girl, you know, what I, then I can send the message and say, girl, let me tell you, and I might be able to relate to their cravings or relate to something, uh, maybe they're diabetic, maybe they're, and then I can speak to whatever it is their ailment is, and that's all I give them, and then I just breadcrumb. 
do like if I have a thousand words to say to somebody, <laughs> I try to condense it as much as I can in a in a minute or a couple of minutes. I do not type it out. My brain, if I see a message this long, I can tell you if it's an email. We just had a panic attack tonight over. Uh, <laughs> I've got a uh, another homeschooling mom on here with CC. I get this email and I'm like, oh my gosh because uh, I, I don't read details. It needs to be in red, it needs to be in black because I do not read word for word in an email. And I'm thinking if I don't do that, ain't nobody else gonna do that on social media. We're quick, we need quick information. And when we're on social media, it's all about me anyway, right? Like it's like, I need to lose weight. What do you have for me? How much it like, they want quick answers. So I try to give them quick answers. And then once it really has honed in, that's when I send a voice message and I really try to bullet point what they want. Um, I don't go into pricing. I don't go into all of that until it really gets to a place. They're like, okay, I need to jump in. And this is huge. This is huge. Like I see a huge difference now that I'm doing, there's two things. One is I do a price breakdown, whether it's in a video style or whether I do it on the, you know, on the messenger. And I'll say, um, all right, let me break this down. It's three parts. We've got workouts, We've got a meal plan and we've got nutrition. There's three parts. And I, you know, and I'll say your workouts for the entire year, it is a hundred dollars. It's a hundred bucks. That's averaging like $8 a month and your whole family can use it. Your kids can, your spouse can. And I even tell them like, if you have a sister, like I just tell them like, I don't know how many people can log into that account. I have no idea. I'm like, you know, we've had four people logged in at the same time. I just let them know, like, this is so cheap and whoever wants to log in can log in. And then I'll say, and I let them know, because this is what I think. Um, and I say, we do have a shake that I absolutely love. It kills my cravings. It gives me nutrition. I trust it. But I will say it is on the pricey side. It is 130 just for the shake. But if you get the workouts and the shake together, the special this month, and I let them know the special this month, it is a hundred, well, when it was 140 or 160 or whatever. And then I say, and then when you get the workouts and the shake for the 160, you are also getting, you get, and then I go into to be mindset and all of the 40 video series of ultimate portion fix and the fixate and the recipes and the free. And I let them know my challenge groups are free. Like girl, you get all of that this month. And on top of this, you get the new running program or whatever it is. And then they're like, holy cow. When they see that price breakdown, they are like, whoa. Now I've not mentioned anything about coaching, not mentioned anything about any of that whatsoever, nothing. And then they're like, they're sold. They're like, okay, I need to. And they may need, and here's the thing. Let them marinate. You don't know what's going on in their life. Their husband may have lost their job. They may be saving up for something for their kid. They may be saving up. They may not have the funds right now. Don't, just don't worry about it. Sow the seeds and let it go. And then just keep posting, keep posting, keep posting. You know, go back and check up on them, but don't sit there like, oh, when are they going to buy? Don't waste your energy on that because when they are ready to buy, they will. Um, it's, it's so inexpensive, like this, this thing for 160 bucks and you get all of that. And Jessica knows we paid 150 just for 21 day fix and some containers. <laughs> like, you know, I mean, there's so much you get in that. And then when it comes down to the final thing, they're ready to buy. Then I ask them and I'll say, listen, you can sign up for a future 25% discount. And then they're like, oh, well, tell me about it. And I'll tell them and I'll say, listen, let me know, tell me. Are you ready? Do you just want to try this thing for now? Or are you really wanting to do this and give it a three month shot? Because if you're, and I make the decision for them. If you're giving this a three month shot, then you really do need to sign up for the discount. Like I don't ask them, I tell them. Um, and, I, and I'll say, because within three months you're, you're working out, you're getting your meal plan. And then they're like, okay. And then they tell me that they want to, you know, whether they want to sign or whether they don't. Um, and then that, so that's how I get people to sign up as a, you know, they, they're sold on the challenge pack and then they sign up as a coach and uh, like 90, 95% of mine do sign up because I want them committed. I really do. It's not even about, um, it just doesn't make sense to me 
personally to just have people as, you know, paying full price for it, because if they can get the discount, then they need to get the discount so that they stay, um, you know, connected. Um, huh, oh, I already said that uh, landing page. I don't know. Um, the landing pages, you can actually go on MailChimp. And I don't know if you guys know about landing pages. You can do it for free. And I personally have a website as well, but you can do an entire um, landing page for free and it gives all of the information. So you could do a landing page on the newest program, on the newest, you know, whatever it is that you offer or your sneak peeks or, you know, things like that. So MailChimp is a place that you can do, you know, just have some information ready to send them um, or email them. Um, the, oh, here's the thing too, is why do they want to come to you? That is also in your posts. Make sure that you are um, really displaying what's special about you. Like let people see your personality. Um, because if I see five different people and I see, okay, they're working out and lost weight, they lost weight, look at her before and afters, like I don't even know who these people are or what they're doing or anything, make sure they can see your personality. I love, um, and even when I watch people, I, I love to see live videos or um, it doesn't even have to be live, even just quick videos. Make sure that you know where your audience is, because I'm telling you, my main audience is on Facebook as much as I want them to be on Instagram. It's just not taking off. And I, I have to go where my main audience is. And then I'm still trying to build those other places. My Instagram stories, I love, like they are fun for me, but I really don't get a whole lot of traction from them. Although that tw the 20 something year old did come from the Instagram stories, but my main traction definitely comes from Facebook. Um, just, and I think it's because of my, what I do, because I do a lot of um, like kind of personal development, spiritual things. And so people like to come and read those little devotional things on my page. So, you know, but that's for me, you may have something, you may be stories all day long. I know Jessica is mainly Instagram. That's where you're getting most of your people. And I know that you've talked about that, like with what you do is Instagram, what Matt does is Facebook. So, and you guys are both young, so I don't know what the, you know, what, but Facebook is just where, that's just where my jam is. So I don't know what happens when we get 5,000 people. I don't know. We'll worry about that tomorrow, like Scarlett O'Hara. Um, but yeah, um, just, you know, just making sure they're posting. Here's another thing. Now let's talk about how I strategically got to Emerald. Um, Laura's on the call and um, Laura was one of my first ones coming with me. She was with me a long time ago. Okay. So she had been a challenger and here's the thing because I've done this twice and I know that everybody's well, Gina's done it twice. Anyway, but you know, I've done that, you know, we've, this is not my first time around the bush here. We've gone around and around, but there's something, and I'm not saying this to toot my own horn, but there's something that I give that the same people came back to me. And, and again, I am not being unethical. People need to stay with their coaches. People need to do whatever. But when I did the business before, and then I laid it down, people like Rebecca, I just got to come and I want to be a part of your group. Like why it's beach body. It's a workout. It's a shakeology. It's what, like, why? because people are gonna be drawn to you. So make sure you make you, like let people know who you are. They're drawn to you. I have literally had people like sign up under me, they're drawn to me and their downline, like literally they don't, they, they are like, I am too much. I am a fire hose for them. So never, because I'm always thinking, oh, they're not going to want me. They're going to want to go to Jessica. Oh, they're going to want Brittany there because there's so much. Mm -mm, mm -mm. They want you for whatever it is that you, you offer them. They want you. All right. So when I jumped in this business and Laura was quote unquote, just a challenger, you know, she hadn't signed up as a coach. And I knew, I knew that she had two close friends and I knew because if I keep on posting this way, those people are going to come to me. And I got on a call with her and I was like, Laura, let me just tell you, I'm going to be real with you. Like, I know you're not interested in the business. I know you're not wanting whatever, but I'm going to tell you so-and-so and so-and-so, and, -so, and -so, it's a matter of time. They are going to come to me like, and, and you are closer to them and you could be making the commission from them. And when we first started, 
it was true. And Laura and I had, there was one that said, okay, as long as I can have you and Laura, you know, it was like a, it was like a mixture. Now that coach is like, she's not even getting in my challenge groups anymore. She is all under Laura. Like it's, it's all about her, but I had to see the potential in Laura that she didn't see in herself. And I also had to see the potential in those other people. I think it's so important to make sure you are seeing the positivity. Everybody's negative. I'm telling you, the whole world is negative. We as coaches are the ones that have to be positive. We have to see something in people and we have to see something in their people to keep them lit and keep them on fire. And Laura has been an Emerald coach and she's a solid Emerald. She's pushing for diamonds. She's so close, um, you know. So it's those kinds of things. Like when you have a close friend or a sister or something that you know that they're close to them and it's easy. I know, I get it. Oh, but I'm going to miss my success club points. You know, for me, I was like, you know what? It's not about success club. I need to, I need to have somebody that's successful with me. <laughs> you know, um, I have hit success club every single month and I will say it is a non-negotiable. I will hit it some way, some, way, <laughs> you know, I try so, so hard and that's the way that we build our businesses, but I do. And, and each Emerald on both sides, I, um, I helped them. One of the, the, my other Emerald, she had her mom sign up. And then there was another girl that did not want anything to do with it. She didn't want anything to do. And she was just on the call. <laughs> She's off now. She didn't want anything to do with it. I had some conversations. We had the mutual friend and, and she was like, well, what do I do? What should I do? Cause we have mutual. And I said, listen, it benefits me either way, whether you sign up with me or sign up with the other person. So I was, I told her, I said, go ahead and sign up under this other person. And then, and she did, and now she's rocking her business. Now I have two solid emeralds and I wouldn't trade it for the world. Yeah, maybe that one down one could honestly be one of my diamonds, but my initial goal is to get to diamond. So I'm going to help my coaches find success, see success, get some commission, because when we are pouring out to them, then they learn how to pour out to theirs. And trust me, it what, what goes around comes around and more people are going to come to you and then you can shout out their success. And then when your social media sees you as successful, wow, you just went emerald, you just went diamond. Now you're helping her. Now you're leading a business. It's a big deal. So truly, like truly help your coaches below you, even if it means giving them the success club points, even if it means giving them that $50 commission or whatever, because like I said, I have those two solid emeralds and I have more emeralds now too, um, but that's what got me to diamond so quickly. Had I not like really done that, there's, I wouldn't have gone diamond that quickly. So that was, you know, one of my, you know, things that I did. Um, and I think like that's, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what else. I don't know if there's any questions or anything like that, but that's kind of how, how I've done it. And I will say this, make it, this is another thing, make a big deal out of everything you do. Like I will, you know, there's five of us on this call. I'm not Brittany Leggett with 12 pages and all of this, you know, with our slay squad. Right. But my, my people don't know that I am going to be like, I was just on a call. I led this. I did that because people are like, wow, Rebecca really is doing something like when I was on the board, Jessica did a uh, shout out. It was the very first one. And I maybe was at SC2. And I was like, I made the board of my upline. Like what? Wait, we're all like, what? Like you, you got one person. We know that. They don't know that. They see upline. They see a big post. They see a big deal. And Rebecca's excited about it. And they're like, man, that Rebecca is on fire. <laughs> it's one person. But that, I mean, it's it's true. And I think we, we and that's part of that being positive and just, just, we do, in all honesty, we need to celebrate that one person. We need to celebrate our one person's success just as much as we do of being a five-star diamond because every single step, every single person really does matter. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I have, Jessica. You can jump in now. I love that. I love, <laughs> she's the best. I, first of all, I just, I do want to say that. So like that tip that she has about, 
I mean, not giving them the option, but just saying, you know, like it, it, that, that works so well with getting people to join as a coach. And then you never know, like you cannot assume that they're not going to do anything with the business. You can't assume that a discount coach won't go diamond. I put a discount coach under Matt one time and she went diamond. <laughs> I was like, are you joking me? Yeah. Like, I did not put you under my husband for you to go diamond. I put you under my husband because I'm trying to make him diamond and she just surpassed everybody. Um, so you can't assume a one coach will do something versus another, but I will say that when you speak belief, like Rebecca was saying into someone and you, and you tell them, you're going to be like, listen, I want you to do this 100%. So I need you to follow this meal plan and this, and I need you to stick with Shakeology for three months. And in order for you to do that, I want you to get it at the discounted price, like what I'm going to pay, like what I pay for it. So I want you to sign up as a coach. It's, you know, it's, it's free to sign up because you're going to be getting all of this together, but just encourage them to do that. And then make sure you come alongside them for those three months, because those are the believers. Those are the ones that have the before and after pictures, you know, and then you can even tell them, Hey, listen, I, you, what people are going to start noticing your results. And then guess what, when they want to know what you're doing, you get the commission now, not me. Like you get to have the 25% commission or the 40 bucks or whatever, not me. So I also explained to them, like, there's potential money in this for you. You know, you don't have to go out and like try to recruit anybody. But if anybody ever wants to know what you're doing, they can sign up under you. You don't have to refer them to me. So I love that. I think that is such a wise move in adding people to your team. And I remember a girl on a national wake up call. She said every single challenger she has signed up as a coach, every single one of them. And it's basically exactly what Rebecca is saying. So I think that that is fantastic. I think that's a wonderful um, idea. And I think we all should try that, should try that with, uh, with our um, upcoming challengers and stuff. So does anybody have any questions for Rebecca or does anybody have anything that they wanted to say that stood out that they need, you know, either clarification on or can we really quick, I, I don't want to keep you much longer, but can we, can I just hear from you guys, whoever wants to speak, um, tell me kind of what you're like, what you're, you're aiming towards right now. Like what kind of is your goal? Is it, is it Emerald or is it Emerald again? Or, you know, do you have kind of like a map of what you're, what you're looking to, to um, map out and, and kind of shoot for? Anybody want to tell me? Yeah. I mean, I'm like so close. Well, I was at one point really close to diamond. And so that is like, that's my goal. Um, so have you, do you have that? Okay. So I told you guys, I was going to give you like a little map or whatever, and I will, I'll post it in our coach page, but, um, do you have it like visually in front of you? Yeah. Well, I have it on, I mean, it's on my phone. Yes, but okay. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I have like, I, I had one Emerald and then I had another one who was halfway to Emerald. Yeah. And it, They've both dropped, like they've both lost one. So now I don't even have an emerald on either side, but okay. I'm working on building it back up and I'm going to get there. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So um, the only thing I would say as far as giving coaches away is make sure that if you are going to give like, for instance, you know, I gave Matt an emerald coach and she went diamond. So I probably wouldn't do that again. Um, I probably would like, I had my mom sign up under him because I knew she wasn't going to do anything. She was just going to get shakes and stuff. And I also had his mom sign up. So if you're trying to build a spouse to diamond, don't give away potential coaches, you know, potential business builders. And it's, you may not, it's hard to tell like what anybody's going to do, but you know, family members and stuff like that, you can sign them up under, I would sign them up under spouses, but um, but I wouldn't say like, oh, I really want to go diamond. So I'm just going to give these coaches to my friend and, you know, cause that's just really dangerous. 
<laughs> yeah. It is, it is dangerous. I will say, um, and I'm certainly not disagreeing with that at all, because I had the same thing happen. I had the same thing, and someone went diamond, and she was, she continued on, like, hard, 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 like, you know, so I was like, wow, you know, but it was what it was, but I will say, because my husband was on my weak leg, and even when I had to lay it down for ministry reasons and whatever, my husband was still getting a, a nice paycheck and I was getting a paycheck because it was volume. So that was, you know, it was a benefit there for that. Um, but you might have like a sister or somebody that wants to join. And then maybe there's, you know, a friend of your sister, you know, or something like that. Um, yeah, that's a little more safe. But I also, you know, like with Laura, who just hopped off, um, she's so close to diamond. Um, you know, it, you know, it just, you, you can't, you can't predict, but in that case, I don't know if she would have even started doing the business had she not seen Emerald. I mean, you just don't know. You mm -hmm. just don't know. Right. Like, pray before you sign them up. I don't know. You just, yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Right. So yeah, I just, um, you know, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to this little retreat. I think it's going to be a good core group of people. Um, you know, in December, I hope all of you guys can make it. I hope all of you can. I think it's going to be such a great time, but even just a small intimate, you know, like group of us where we can just kind of, I mean, I feel like nobody's seen each other for so long. I just feel like it's going to be such a great time. So I want you guys to work really hard, um, on getting there and, you know, so that we can also talk about it on our social media, you know, like have people see the community side of it. Um, because people are needing that community right now anyways. I mean, they're just longing for friendships. Um, and when they see that you guys earned this trip, that's just going to be, you know, invite them to come, you know, to the next one. So anyway, that, this is amazing. Um, you know, I just feel like Rebecca had amazing. She's just, she just is a real deal and she knows how to work really, really hard. And one thing that she's very good at is she's very good at consistently posting and showing like she said even though she had two points on there she still is just like makes it a big deal and it, they don't they don't know what emerald is but when you say that you're an emerald coach and and you sh and you get shout outs and stuff like that they're gonna be like i don't know what an emerald coach is but she just got you know a shout out from her coach so so anything that you can um can celebrate do that do that on your social media. And I'm going to do more of that. I got to celebrate my challengers more. I celebrate them in my challenge group. I need to celebrate them more um, on social media and make sure it's okay with them. If you use your pictures, obviously, um, or there, or say, can I cut your head off? <laughs> like, can I just cut your head off and, you yeah. know, just use your pictures and it, nine times out of 10, they've always, they never mind. But, um, but yeah, so Anyway, it was so good to see you guys tonight. I hope you guys can make it next week. I am, I've got a list of things that I want to talk about for our upcoming calls. Um, I'm actually doing a training right now. I paid for a training this past Christmas and then I'm like diving back into it. And so I'm going to share with you guys all the stuff that I'm learning from that. It's just absolutely incredible. So I hope you'll be back on with us next Thursday. Um, and we'll just keep growing our little our little posse on here on Thursday nights. It's just, just going to be so much fun. I love seeing you guys. Thank you so much for hopping on here. Thank you so much for Rebecca for all of your wisdom and all of everything that you've taught us and just how dedicated you are to our team and to, you know, your, your team and your leaders. So I can't wait to celebrate some more, um, you know, rank advancements in the next couple of weeks, but we want to see Gina go diamond right along with Abby, Gina. <laughs> yes. She's, yes she's one of my rock star rock star coaches too yeah i am um, i work at a nursing home i'm a director of nursing there and we have been plagued with covid so um my life has been a little crazy the last month keeping them safe and you know things are calming down a little bit so mm. hopefully things will get better you know it's i'm still I feel like I'm accomplishing something every day when I can still get out of bed and do my workout and follow the nutrition. And, yeah. and so I'm feel, I'm feeling like I'm being successful and my challenges know 
that I'm doing that, but it has been a rough month to two months and we're finally just kind of coming out of it. And let's hope, let's hope beyond hope that um, we don't have a resurgence because that is just been pretty difficult, but we're getting there and hopefully I can make it to diamond. I feel like I can just taste it. I just can't get quite oh, yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 there. I just I'm hoping that in a couple months we're going to be like COVID. What was that? You know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really. It so it was so long ago. It was just a you know. It was uh, oh, I'm just praying, Lord Jesus, let us just like barely remember this by next year. You know? <laughs> yeah. Oh my There's gosh. A few things too that we were talking about. One is the cash pot for that Brittany's doing to get people to Emerald because I know Ola might want to jump in on that. Um, <laughs> cash pot you may know more details about it um jessica do you know have you been reading through it yeah so i can send you guys i can um so Brittany is doing a cash pot i think she's getting together with some other um top some other leaders on the team and mm -hmm. it's basically like a buy-in it's not very much i can't remember what it is $5. But yeah and so you just and it, so basically everybody who hits emerald gets a piece of this pot it's like you know, say a hundred people go in for at $5 and 20 people make Emerald. Well, then you, you divide the money by 20 to 20 people. And so we've done these before in the past and there, and I mean, it, I think it's a, a very good idea, especially if you're wanting to at least hit Emerald for the first time, um, to mm -hmm. be a part of that group. So, um, we can get you the, the, the link to that group for you guys to, to join that if you want to, or if you have any coaches that you really think, just reach out to them and ask them and say, Hey, I, you know, I think this would be a great, great option for you. So yeah, I would, I would for sure um, get on that group if you can. Yeah. And I think she had it to where, so if I had someone, so like Abby, if you had someone that you wanted to be Emerald, you would pay $5 for that person or, you know, so, mm. you know, because you didn't have to, but right. Yeah, that's how she's had. The other thing too is that I started a group. If anybody wants to be a part of that, um, I just created it today, and it's just going to um, uh, making diamonds is what I called it, and it's just you know trying to get some more encouragement, more of that personal development, that passion. So if anybody wants to be a part of that, you're more than welcome to jump in that. It'll just be daily posts, daily, you know. There's no cash pot or anything, but you know, I mean, it'll still be motivational. Yeah. That's a great idea for anybody who's looking to um, rank advance for the retreat. Cause it'll be, you know, it's like our teams, you know, the people that are, that are all working hard towards that. So that'd be great to. And on Facebook, Rebecca. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I'd love to hop okay. in. Yeah. 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 I'm sure Joy would too. And Megan and maybe a couple other girls that, um, that have commitments on Thursday nights that can't make the calls, but I'm sure they would love to be there because they're pushing to go to the retreat too. So anyways, well, well I just want to jump in real quick yeah. <laughs> before we get off the call to say, thank you so much, Jessica and Rebecca. This has been wonderful. Oh, good. I'm <laughs> so glad you came. Thanks so much for coming. Yeah. It's my first, you know, just learning everything um, for, uh, today's been Rebecca knows all about me she knows I'm very very shy and super super <laughs> <laughs> so um today I um was it yesterday no I think it was yesterday night I posted my before and after and even then I had to go to my husband like I don't know I don't know if I want to post this I, I look so bad <laughs> oh my goodness no 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 hey listen anytime you post something and you want us to show some love um on your post just just, uh, you know, type something in our group or, you know, whatever. We'll all go and make sure that we comment on it because it's always great to have some some other coaches, you know, give you feedback and congratulate yeah. you and stuff. So, right. Thank yeah. you so much. I'm proud of you. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, so got a lot of people. I mean, I had um, some, some of my friends from college say, what are you doing? And, um, you know, and I'm still thinking, I got to go back to Rebecca and she's told me what to say 500 times, but I'm going to, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Hey, the more you practice, the easier it'll come. 
yeah, you'll be able to do it. You'll be able to um, answer all these questions so much easier the more you do it. So great job. Great job. Great job. Thank you. All right, you guys. Well, it was so good to see you. I love chatting with you. This is so much fun. This is my favorite night now. So I will see you all again next Thursday. And um, I will let you kind of give you an idea of what we're going to be speaking on. But if you, you know, make sure that you try to get your, any of your coaches, just personally read, reach out to them. Like this week, try to personally reach out to them and just kind of tell them like, you know, it just kind of breathe some life into them and say, I think that you would really benefit from just seeing the community, just coming to a call and seeing the community and the people. Um, mm. Cause that, that's always fun. You know, just, just having that camaraderie and, and everybody, they buy into it more when they, you know, can see our fit, you know, face to face and have conversations. So I will see you guys next week. Um, also, I don't think you guys saw this, but I posted the link to the Google doc that I wanted you guys to fill out for the retreat. And it's in the, um, I'm going to repost it. Cause I don't think anybody saw it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was actually in the post um, that I did last week. It's it was right after it was right after we got off the call last week that I posted it in our group. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, so the one with our Zoom piece, the the one with the um, our picture of our Zoom, the recording. It's in that. It's in that post. I'll repost it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it now. Yeah. So it's, it's, yeah, it, all it showed you was the recording link, but it has the Google Doc right underneath it. So anyway, I'm going to just, I'm going to repost this at the top so that people can see it. Um, and that's what you fill out for the retreat. Um, uh, yeah. So nobody saw it really. I, only one person, I think, has filled it out. So. Anyway, so I'll, yeah, I'll go post this and you guys fill it out if you're, if you're wanting to be a part of um, the retreat. It's just a few questions or whatever. All right, you guys. Good. All right. I love you all. Have an awesome night. I will see you next Thursday. Thank you so much. You Thank are you. welcome. We'll see you guys. Bye.